We recently got some leaks for Pokemon Pocket and these are some pretty important leaks. What time the game is launching, when future content's gonna be coming, what that future content is, how you can obtain it. Some of this stuff you're already gonna be familiar with because I did do a video about when uh, the first set of new cards would be coming and the second set of new cards would be coming, but we have more details on that, details about in-game events and much, much more. So let's go through this whole Reddit thread but before we do, here's where this information is coming from. So firstly, the game was data mined by an Italian website and then they posted that information and then somebody has translated all of that information from Italian. So there's kind of a double translation thing going on here where the game files are of course in Japanese and then translated from Japanese into Italian and then from Italian into English. So some of the terminology here might not be perfect. Just keep that in mind as we go. I will get one of the most important things out of the way very quickly. Somebody data mined that there would be a bunch of in-game announcements coming at 6 p.m. PT on Tuesday night, which seems to imply that 6 p.m. PT Tuesday night is going to be the release date of Pokemon Pocket. Or else why would these announcements be pushed at that time? Maybe they're just getting pushed a little bit early, but I think generally speaking, we can kind of assume that that'll be the general launch window for Pokemon Pocket. I'll be streaming Pokemon Pocket when it goes live, both on this YouTube channel and uh, on Twitch. And then leading up to the release of Pokemon Pocket, I'm going to be streaming The Bazaar, which will also be going live. Uh, actually, that might not be leading up to. It depends on the exact time that Pokemon Pocket goes live and the exact time The Bazaar goes live. But I'll be streaming both uh, relatively within the same time frame. All right, now let's jump into the thread. So the first thing we need to know about is maintenance happening on October 28th. We're already in maintenance right now, sadly. We cannot play the game. Then going into global launch, there'll be a store update. This store update will include a bunch of different stuff. On October 30th, Pokemon Pocket launches globally. Big store update. New special items in the store, possibly new emblems and other cosmetics will also be added to the more section. The limited time events will have new promotions. Hourglasses, the currently purchasable hourglasses will, uh, with store vouchers will be removed. Now keep in mind, removed might not be the correct terminology here. It might be refreshed. It's hard to say exactly what this will look like because of course this is a double translation thing going on. So removed might be refreshed or they might be removed and then replaced with something else. Who knows? Uh, new styles of binders, card sleeves, coins, all of this stuff is coming to the game. That's not all of this stuff. These are just example playmats and stuff. We'll talk about um, what's actually coming to the game very, very shortly. And then season one will start. The first season will begin with global launch. The main set begins, um, the main set uh, being the current genetic Apex set. It will last three months with a conclusion scheduled for January 24th. Oh, to 29th, sorry. So it looks like a whole season is like Genetic Apex is the season, and then any mini sets or additional cards we get during a season, that's like the content of the season. So a season isn't like a month's worth of content like it is in, say, um, Hearthstone or Marvel Snap. A season is kind of like a group of content. So it'll be Genetic Apex, the mini set that we're getting, which we'll talk about very shortly as well. Um, all of that is going to be encompassed within season one. There's going to be a Chansey and Meowth event on October 31st, leading up till November 14th. Within this event, you'll be able to get these items that are listed below. There'll be a part one and a part two of this event, so October 31st to uh, November 14th, but starting on November 7th will be the part two of the event. So it's split into two different weeks there. Then there's a drop event on November 4th to November 18th. No word on how drops work, but there will be some type of drop event. My guess is that this is like a daily login reward thing. Uh, then on Black Black Friday, there'll be, which will be November 21st, uh, there'll be an event in game. There'll be special promotions, discounts on Poke Gold. So maybe stock up on some real life money to spend on some Poke Gold if you're planning on doing that. The premium pass will also be discounted apparently, or other items in the shop. So um, it seems like special promotions aren't necessarily always going to be all of these things. It seems like it's an and or type of thing. So some special promotions might discount Poke Gold, some might discount premium passes, and some might discount other items. But generally speaking, these are the types of things that special promotions could do. Exclusive items, there'll be items that are only available during Black Friday. That's kind of interesting. Then there'll be a Magic Carp event, a Magic Carp and Gyarados event. I assume this is similar to the Meowth event that's described above here, just based on some context clues. It seems very, very, um, it seems very similar to, to that. Then we have a Mass Outbreak event. So we don't know what this type of event explicitly entails, but we can talk kind of broadly about it. A special fire theme event will take place. This event will introduce um, a handful of new things. First, unique rewards for the fire event. So maybe like fire type Pokemon will be introduced or something. Then we have an increased appearance frequency of specific Pokemon that are normally rarer. So my guess is that maybe um, things like 
uh, Charizard EX, which is normally a four diamond card, that might be a slightly less rare card now. Maybe it's a three diamond card, or it effectively has the drop rate of a three diamond card uh, and during this event. That event's running from the 21st to the 28th. Then there'll be a second drop event on November 28th to December 12th. Then there'll be a Bulbasaur and Magnemite event from December 5th to December 19th. Then we'll get our very first new in-game expansion on December 16th, which will be a mini set of cards. There'll be one or two booster packs here featuring a set of special cards and a new introduction of strategies and gameplay mechanics as those new cards are introduced. Now, the fun thing about this, in my opinion, is if if it really is two booster packs splitting this mini pack or setting this splitting this mini set into two different packs that means we're getting two cinematic cards right because so far all of the faces of a set so your Charizard, your Pikachu's, your Mewtwo's, all of these have had cinematic cards. So if they do uh, two booster packs with say like Mew on it and uh, I don't know what's another cool gen one card Dragonite uh, there'll probably be a cinematic Dragonite and a cinematic Mew if those are the two cards that they choose. Speaking of which, I really hope we get a cool Mew uh, in the next mini set because we didn't really get like a playable Mew uh, this time around in Pokemon Pocket uh, because of course it was just like a collector uh, mythical card. Uh, and then we get our second main set of cards. Set two will be releasing in January, oh sorry, on January 29th with a new complete set similar to the scope of Genetic Apex. Genetic Apex contains 226 cards, so a similar number of cards for set two, which is really exciting. I imagine set two will have a generation two theme, which will be very fun. Uh, and then we have a new type of ticket. You'll see there's a few of these types of tickets for these type of events. There's a ticket there, there's a ticket there, um, there's a ticket here. Uh, so these types of tickets are obviously something to to do with these types of events. They seem to have a duration of five days. Uh, we'll learn more about that more when we get into the game. Then we have a new rarity of card, Rainbow Cards. We don't really know what these look like yet, but they're described to look similar to Hyper Rare Cards from the TCG. Here's an example of some Hyper Rare Cards in the TCG. I don't particularly love these, but this paragraph explains that they have visual effects and animations. So if they're animated, I would love them. Uh, but only time will tell exactly what these look like, but they seem like they're even more rare than Crown Rare Cards, which is pretty crazy. I still don't even have a Crown Rare Card. Then there's gonna be three new types of Wonder Picks. These are just kind of examples. There's Bonus Picks, which um, has no cost associated with it at all, which is pretty fun. Then there's Rare Picks, which seems to contain only rare cards. Oh no, it, it contains three rare cards. Um, Nine Tails and Charmeleon are not rare. And then there's a Chansey pick, which only has Chanseys in it. Lots of new decorative effects. Um, some of these aren't new, so the graphic's not like a great example, but um, I'm pretty sure some of those are new. Uh, then we have new types of event-related gift packages. We currently get gift packages with hourglasses and stuff in them, or I think they're actually just shop tickets or whatever, but, um, but yeah, just new types of daily login rewards. Then we have the new Premium Pass card, which will be Mewtwo. Love this guy, it looks awesome. And then introducing a new ranked system. The ranked mode will have base, bronze, silver, and gold. And then there's two different types of ranked modes. You'll see there's a themed mode, a, var a variant of ranked mode where players can compete in themed events and timed challenges. So maybe it'll be stuff like, um, you know, maybe the theme of this ranked series is there's no EX Pokemon, or this ranked series is you can't include any um, item cards. It's impossible to know what they mean by there's going to be different themes, or maybe you can only play grass Pokemon or something like that. Um, some type of challenge to kind of spruce things up, make things a little bit more interesting. Uh, and it's really cool that they're going to have kind of two different ranked modes for that. So that'd be really, really fun. And then we have a new different type of event called Stamina System Event Battles. Um, it seems that there's going to be some type of um, event battle, either PvE or PvP. And then you'll have a certain number of these that you can do every day. If you do these and you lose, you will consume a stamina. But if you win, you won't consume a stamina. So the better players will be rewarded for this, which is kind of fun. Um, although I imagine if you're a worse player, this is probably not very exciting for you. <laughs> There's a few different types of reward events here. Um, I will say the scariest thing about this is that for these rewards, it seems like Lapras EX is going to be an exclusive card for this reward. And then of course the Venusaur Ult Art is also going to be exclusive for this. So I hope that they give us some way to obtain this type of card again in the future, because it's going to be really sad for people who don't get access to Lapras EX, because I do think it'll be a good card. And this is currently the only way to obtain it. And if you let it be something that you can trade for, people are going to be really weird. Uh, about this Lapras EX because there's only going to be a certain number of them in rotation. So that's kind of a bit scary. Anyway, that's everything to talk about with the leaks. I'll leave you there because um, I've got plenty of things to do today to prepare for the launch of Pokemon Pocket. I hope I'll see you there. Keep being awesome and I'll catch you in the next one.